good afternoon, and thanks for joining us here on Midday Kentucky. Troy taking some well-deserved time off. He is at Snowshoe. Yes. We know how much he loves the snow, skiing, all that. So jealous. Not for me, but. I could just imagine him <laughs> frolicking in the snow yeah, right now. He just does snow angels. I don't think he skis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's I just don't out there. He's supposed to provide video evidence. Yeah, he's been posting some videos, and Snowshoe looks really beautiful. So yes. follow him on Instagram uh, if you want to check that out. But first, I wanted to start off today's <laughs> show with a look at the 2018 food trends. You know, yes. I well, love of course. food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. What do you guys think will be trending? Oh, right now, with the time of the year, I think, like, um, I don't know. I'm thinking more drinks, though. Is that in okay, this at all? Okay, we've got yeah, something in there. Something? Lisa, are you seeing anything that you think is trendy now? You know, um, not really. I mean, it, it seems like more uh, like smaller restaurants, not like the big chains, but it seems like small individual restaurants yeah. that are offering featured foods, like yes. you know, in n like maybe in vegan uh, mm -hmm. arena or in paleo. So that's kind of what yeah, I'm. Yeah, I like these little niche restaurants, yes. like popping yes. up with something yeah. like that. So uh, this is what Pinterest is seeing as the biggest trends happening. Okay right now and that is plant protein oh, yeah. in like your shakes and things like that. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. you drink yeah, some I just, of those sometimes. I just did one with uh, the guy that we had on last week with mm -hmm. the vegan. Oh yeah, John you know? Lewis. John yes, Lewis. and he was awesome and I've been doing uh, vegan protein shakes which delicious. Awesome. awesome. Okay, the next one is coffee with a health boost. Yes. And they say it is not enough just to switch to almond milk or skim milk with your coffee. Add health bo boosting spices like cinnamon, Tier latte and get this beetroot powder. Mm. Beetroot. That so sounds pink good. coffee. We'll have to ask <laughs> up of Commonwealth about that one. Yes. <laughs> when they go in here. And um, David, what you had mentioned, clean cocktails. Yes. So that's making things with like the natural sugars or juicing your own orange, mm -hmm. I guess, to make your mimosa. I guess I would probably do that with a mimosa because you know you only need a little dash. I'll do <laughs> I'll do I will do whatever it takes to get my mimosa. So <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you guys are like squish, squish. All right, let's do this for <laughs> yep. yeah. That's exactly all right, how it would go. Yeah. <laughs> how would you do that? It's talking about just using all these natural things like fr more fresh fruits and herbs, and even people using their juicers to make their mixers for their cocktails. I love so that. What nice. would you do? Do you like those kind of cocktails? Yes, like um, I'm thinking kind of, uh, oh, what, what was it on the show that you guys had the other day? Um, mm -hmm. it, Troy had one. Oh, no, he had one on his Oh, Instagram, the Moscow Mule. The Moscow oh, Mule. Oh, yes. Because, you know, that's got that little spice to it, mm -hmm. that little edge. That's what I'd be. So instead of yeah. ginger beer, you would just put ginger. Ginger root, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, I think I would do it. Yeah, I think I would do maybe just like strawberry juice or s mm. vodka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would put fruit in my wine. I do that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah I would. Too. <laughs> it's like this is healthy. Yeah, here's a great. <laughs> there it is. Um, the next one. I wonder if you guys have heard of this. Air fryers. I have. One. one of have our producers, no, I, I, Rhonda, just got one, yes. and I don't understand how it works. It's, it's frying you without the oil, right? I know. How, how does it work? You have one. Y'all, I don't know how it works, <laughs> okay? <laughs> just like I don't know how a light switch works when I turn it on, okay? But it is amazing. Like, I made, um, like, potatoes with it, yeah. and they come out so crisp. I did hot wings on Sunday, yeah. and, you know, you're still throwing some batter on there. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're battering them up, but they came out so crispy. And so delicious. It's not dry or anything. Like it's still moist. Yeah. Did it taste fried? Taste tasted fried. So I guess walk me through the process of this. I don't understand. So it's you, you, like you, you batter it up and then you you put it inside or I yep. don't get it. You put you it inside it? like a little it's kind of like a little convention oven. Okay. You know what I mean? So yes. the heat is circulating. Okay. And it's the fact that it's still so like the meat is juicy. Delicious. Ooh, okay. Maybe, honestly, I cannot wait to make wings on it again. And you know, I've been using the fryer a lot. Man friend has a fryer yep. now, and I'm like, we need to switch to the air fryer. Because totally worth it. I'm starting to want to fry everything. I know. <laughs> How much is it? Yeah. Um, so I got it for Christmas. Uh, yeah, okay. Shout out to Brandy's parents. Okay, <laughs> love them. And they, uh, I think it, they spent like a hundred bucks on it. Yeah. Okay. Amazon, of course. You can get them on Amazon. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. the way I'd go. Awesome. I want to try it seriously. And this last one is just. Um, Soups, oh. more hearty soups, and okay. I, I would love to see a little niche restaurant pop up with different soups. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be I would cool. Love it. Well, mm. do you guys ever do the soups over at Whole Foods? I know you go there a lot, but like I, would, yeah. I hit their I hit their soups up oh, all time. Oh, okay. So like they'll have you know like 
anything from chili to matzo ball to yeah. like oh. some like all they'll they have like six or eight different soups. A Love wide it. variety. Love yeah. It. Panera has a lot of. The problem is, soup. I always think, oh, it's healthy. I'll just have soup, but I don't go for the veggie <laughs> soup. I'm yeah, like, I know. Ah, broccoli cheddar. Yes. You know? yes, exactly. <laughs> Those are broccoli. always yep. the best. Well, let's move <laughs> on to something we love to talk to David about, and that's <laughs> wedding planning. Oh yeah. Hey, can we all oh, know yes. David has wedding coming up on the horizon? Well, and what are you talking to us about today? Invitations. This is real. Like this is what I'm going through right now. So before you get married, you've got to you know do the planning for the wedding. But one of the biggest things you have to do is consider who you're going to invite and who will not be invited. So some of the things to consider are just making that pre-marriage preliminary list with your partner. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like just throwing names out there, getting everybody down there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because okay. it's then it's a lot easier to start scratching people off, if right. you will. One of the big things is decide where with the family you're going to cut it off. Mm -hmm. Because that's a big part of our list right now. It's like, okay, well, you do want the family there. For us, especially our close family, mm -hmm. you know, my aunts, so on but like those third and fourth cousins that I never see except for like every five or ten years right sorry yeah. well so where did you cut it off that well we that cut it off basically after like second cousins did you like we're just like because it gets crazy guys well the thing is is that the parents will start putting the pressure on you I to invite you know oh. Aunt Jojo from you know yeah <laughs> from well, back in the back next of the wor you words all, that you, you all know Rita from. Goldman and yeah. she's already like well here let me help you with this list yes, yeah. <laughs> and, I'm like, and, they and, oh, and they will and they will and you know what it, go ahead and accommodate your parents you only get married <laughs> once let you know yeah just do it that, and, and we we've, okay. we've also I've tried to the next thing is giving both families you know, equal uh, opportunity. Yes, so it's yeah. like if I'm going to invite 30 people from my family, I want Brandy to feel like she can invite 30 people from her family. Right. The next thing is making the call about the children. That was one of the biggest things that we had to decide was what, you know, is this going to be kid friendly or not? <laughs> Sorry, y'all, it is not going to be kid friendly. Uh, <laughs> You're doing no kids. No kids. It's on the actual yes. like invitation. Yes. So because I want people to get a little wild and have fun. Yeah. Yes. David, so you have any I understand. kids in your immediate family, like nieces and nephews? Uh, you know, like basically, we're going to say, you know, if they're in the wedding, that's it's cool. Yeah. But like besides that, D sorry. David, yeah. I did, Doug and I did the same thing. And okay. I'm here to tell you all. It was a nightmare for the response really? that I got back. And it was specifically with one of my best friends in the world. And she just was very upset that her three-year-old son could not come. She, she even got a tuxedo. She didn't see it on the oh. sheet that the kids were not invited. And, oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, it was really hard. It was. But, you know, it was for the best. It was for their safety because yeah. we had a lot of decor that was around that could easily be knocked over. Mm -hmm. And that was our biggest concern. So it wasn't that we specifically didn't like one child or didn't like right. some children being there. I love kids. But I did it for a safety factor. And because, you know, it is going to get a little wild and crazy. And, yes. you know, you don't want to have to worry about that. You know what I like that I've been seeing as, in, as kind of a trend, I guess, in weddings that I've been to recently? Um, they'll say no children, right. but they've arranged um, an on or off site sitting service. Oh, that's right. Good idea. Where maybe they have paid for a couple babysitters, because how many kids do you really have? Right. Maybe right. there's five to ten of them, oh, yeah. and they're watching the kids for the few hours. Mm -hmm. And that's then they've idea. taken care of it, and then at the end of the day, you can tip the babysitters or whatever, but they'll pay. The wedding will cover it, but this is where your kids can I go. I love that. That idea. is a great love idea it. because it shows that you care that you about, care them. about care. their children and about you know. I mean, that's a very important part of a person's life, and so when you ignore that, I mean, I think that's how my friend felt that I was just not accepting her new child and in, in our re friendship know, and relationship. Well, again, have you I had think, any negative feedback? Uh, well, we haven't sent it out yet. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, so how are you going to write it? Are you well, just putting no kids? It's going to be uh, yeah, no kids. Sorry, oh. sorry about your luck. No. <laughs> well, most. Most people were very were totally okay with it. I right. just okay. have to say, my best friend. I've never had a fight like that with anyone before. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So that was you well, know, that was our biggest fight. And I think this last one's important because we've all kind of come with this, come up with this, where, you know, it's not if you've been in a wedding five years ago, do you have to invite that person? And their their advice is no. You don't have to invite them. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were in their wedding 18 months ago. Get them in your wedding, not yeah. in the wedding, but get them to the wedding. Yeah. Invite them because do the common courtesy, you know, return the favor. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a great call. That's one thing that Brandy's been in like 50 weddings, mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, but you haven't talked to that person in, you know, since that wedding five years ago. Mm -hmm. So do you, do you really need mm -hmm. to invite them? Well, uh, what I want to know is, what are you doing with plus ones? Are you giving people plus oh, yeah. one? Plus one. 
Yeah. So I went to a wedding this year where <laughs> that no one got a plus one unless you were married. Rude. And I thought that was odd. Okay, rude. I don't know if I think it's rude. I just thought it was a little odd. Where what if you don't know people? I wouldn't bring a random to someone's <laughs> wedding. Yeah. But you could be in a serious relationship of a year or so and. You know, because sometimes it's your college friends, your high school friends. They yeah. don't know everyone there. And to go by yourself, yeah. I, I, I thought, I don't know. I would I would let people bring a plus one. Yes. I would rather invite less people and let them bring their significant other than more people mm -hmm. that have to come alone. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm Absolutely. all about it. Right? So the plus one is just uh, you send the invite to your friend and then just say plus one, whoever yep. you want to invite. Boom, plus one, 18 and up, right? <laughs> <laughs> plus one, 18 and up. Don't bring your kids. So it's not to we, your discretion we, on the plus one. We love the kids, but again, and we do want it to be, you know, there's going to be, yeah. yeah. Well, you should think about wild. doing that um, off-site sitter service. Because sometimes idea. I've seen the wedding will cover it, but other times it's just a discounted rate because the babysitter will be like, sweet, I'm babysitting 10 kids that night at someone's house. And yeah. just everyone that goes there, it's like 20 bucks a person. Yeah. And then you pay, they, that, you can have your guests pay for it that too. That is but a great idea. Have a range that of is. budget things. So I the love kids going to have fun too. I love yeah. it. <laughs> well, David, we're keeping you in the I'm, hot seat. I know. <laughs> because <laughs> I found this list online that was saying, things that you should ask before you get married and you need to know these questions uh -huh. and if you don't know them of your spouse you should so <laughs> the first one have you asked how much alone time do you need oh brandy is huge on her alone <laughs> time she she tells me she's like get out go do your thing um so we, we're very respectful of each other's boundaries. I guess you've been together for a long time so you probably know already yeah she's like okay. go get out of here <laughs> okay here's another question if we won five thousand dollars <laughs> How would you want to spend it? Oh man, uh, Brandy and I are really big into saving. Yeah. So like, oh really? Yeah, okay. we'd be like, bank, save it. Really? Yeah, we're big on that. I'm joking. We go s no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I was like, I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm like, who wants a new suit? No. <laughs> no I, you know, no. I think if we won five thousand okay. dollars, we'd probably save it. Okay, I yeah. like it. Um, the next one. How do you envision supporting your parents when you age? Oh yeah, that's huge. Um, you know. Mm. Go hard, yeah. We we, I don't know. Like uh, we haven't really we haven't really talked about that, guys. This you is, haven't no, talked about it. No. Really? Did you talk about it before you got married? Um. Yes, actually. And and Doug's response was, "Our parents are never going to live with us." Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. Period. I mean, he was like, and and you know, we did talk about that. And even though he was kind of joking, I mean, yeah. we would do whatever it would take right, to right, take right. care of our parents, of course. But you know, he was just he was just like. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's probably something to talk about because I, I think any of us, if your parents were ill or need to live with you, of course you'd love to have your exactly. parents. Exactly. But some people plan to do it because that's what they want to happen when they yeah. get older. You yeah. know what I mean? Where they may think, oh, when my parents get old, they're going to live with See, me. Doug's, they Doug, may like it. So that's yeah. probably why you need to talk well, about it. Well, and Doug's parents just <laughs> didn't, he, they don't want to, you know, bother us right. with having to care for them or anything like that. That's just, that came out very early on in our marriage. So, David, okay. I think you need to have that conversation. Yeah, no, you know, <laughs> it, it, I think though we're on that same page of okay. like, if something happened yeah. where one of our parents need us, we'd be right. there. Yeah. Okay. okay, here's another question. Oh, give it to me. Are you going to be monogamous? Oh, yeah. And oh what would God. monogamy mean, it says as well. Like, um, you know how they say emotional cheating? Can you have best friends of the opposite sex? Yeah. Or is that... <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and put that line out there. Um, no, I'm, you know, we're just very respectful of each other. Yeah. And, um, you know, okay. we're, we're just. You're each other's line. best friend, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yes. All Did right. you hear that? Well, each other's best friend. You need friend. to have that conversation about the parents. That's yeah. your hope. No, part. you're right. Yeah, it is. Got it's a little important. in front of me. <laughs> well, stay with us. Coming up after the break, we have much more midday Kentucky. If you're getting ready for Valentine's Day, we're checking in with one of our favorite local jewelers. So stay with us. You're watching Midday Kentucky.